Welcome, brave adventurers, to Loresmith Studios, where the art of storytelling and the game of Dungeons and Dragons converge. In affiliation with HeroForge, the masters of custom miniatures, and powered by the incredible virtual tabletop technology of Tailspire. As the dice roll and fate hangs in the balance, prepare for an unforgettable journey through a world of magic, mystery, and epic storytelling. Another successful hunt. Yes, I am very glad that I was able to at least keep its attention for a moment. Mm, that was your strategy. Yes. Very smart. I to thought for a second you were a weakling and went down. No, it was a bruise to prevent it from attacking you first. That way you can <laughs> unleash your full potential on it. This is why you are a great chief. Fillion rolls his eyes and uh, walks over here. Yes. <laughs> Good yes, so chief a light indeed. The head shake from Kiovic like, ugh. Deathstalker, did you see? I cleaved him. You did. It was well struck, brother. All right. Uh, you guys make your way back to um, Sergeant Locke. <clears throat> well, I would say job well done, but it looks like you uh, went down in the fight, Penance. A little rusty. It's been uh, some time as I kind of squint a little bit at Cillian. It's been some time since I've actually been able to fight, and training is not quite the same as battle. I suppose that's true. But I'm not pleased by your performance today. You're on thin ice. That, uh, that makes sense. I do not blame you. That being said, I, uh, I still will, uh, take into consideration that you are able to deal with the Rutterkin fairly quickly. Rutterkin are not an easy demon to kill. I, uh, staring at my shoulder, which is, I am currently holding to vent too much more blood loss. I, uh, I agree. This is, uh, quite a beast. Despite your performance here, I'm still going to give you your very next assignment. The city has commissioned your unit to go into the mine here and deal with a small Jugar bandit problem they are having. Take care of your team's wounds, gather any supplies you may need, and head into the mine to deal with this as soon as possible. And no screw-ups. Report back to me once you've dealt with the problem. Once you've brought evidence of their expulsion from the mine, the city treasury will give you your commission money. I believe it was somewhere around 250 gold pieces. That sounds admirable. Uh, would you prefer heads or maybe hands as evidence? Hands are fine. Heads are better. Attempt to not... I look at, I look at Zarhawk. Willingly making eye contact with them, we will attempt not to smash their heads. Mm. No head smashing. Thank you. We will ensure the you job is done. Anything, but no. Come, I mean, gentlemen. We uh we must gear ourselves for the mission at hand. <clears throat> and uh you make your way back through the market um what do you guys want to do now uh shall we head out 
For rest one, to do with I am food. going to. Uh... I say we suggest. I suggest that we take a nice rest so that he can heal himself. <clears throat> that as, wound's not just gonna go as, away. As you do, I uh, concentrate for a while, and I lay on hands on myself, uh, healing. To be perfectly honest, all five of my health back. Uh, you see the, the 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 warm glow of my hand cover the wound, and as I shrug off the rest of the blood, and it begins to drain off down my arm, you see the wound is completely healed. Drugs. Well, I'm sure you could have used that later too, but whatever. It comes back. All I must do is rest. But until then, do we have any need for supplies? Does anyone need anything? No, uh, nor do I have the money to purchase such goods. Well, I do have some money, and I would like to see if I can get a hold of some potions, as it looks like we're going to need them. Brother, I have shyness. What we did last job. Yes. You can so, use, you can use believe, the shinies. I believe we still have our rations. So, is there anywhere I can find some potions? You know where I can find them there? Tenants? Uh, assumingly that this is the standard market, probably not too many here, although I do believe, uh, since I have had time to scout out the town, uh, that there are, uh, a number of dealers nearby, uh, one including a potions dealer, I believe. Uh, Penance, you would know that there is an alchemist, um up the north road of town on the right side before you get to the second major part of the city. Hmm. We will acquire a few healing potions. We probably do not have a combined lot of much, but we will acquire these potions so that we have at least something to help out in the middle of a fight. Uh, aside from that, we should leave afterwards. We can rest on the way there to the mines. Do I have... N right here, right here. Uh, do I have knowledge of where the mines are that we're supposed to be going to? Uh, yes, you do. You know where the mines are at. Um, they're just behind the guard... The entrance to the mine is just behind the guard mess hall. There's an elevator shaft that goes down. Um, oh, they're in town. That's I thought we were going to travel somewhere. Uh, Let's take a rest. <laughs> uh, I, this shop is like a uh, just a single story building of stone wall with a with a slate roof. Um, it has a dozen chimneys. Each exhales a uh, different hue of smoke. Uh, the shopkeeper here is a large bear person. Uh, Penance, you've inter you've encountered him before, and you know that his name is Bjorn. Uh, and as you enter uh, into the shop, uh, you all see uh, a the large bear person with blackish brown fur. He has some large purple streaks that kind of travel through his fur. He's busying himself with brewing some type of potion over a bench. Uh, strange glows reflecting off his copper-colored eyes as a green puff of smoke rises when he adds another ingredient. It turns... Oh, hello. So I look at him. Hi, uh, I'm interested in uh, seeing if I can procure some uh, healing potions. Well, I think I have a few potions. Okay, what's, uh, what's your cost? How many you got? Uh, 50 gold pieces each. All right. How many you got? Uh, seven. Well, actually, well let me get, uh, know. let me get six of them for, uh, 300 gold. Oh, well, okay then. Buy out my whole inventory, why don't you? I'm sorry. Zarhawk we're just, we're going on a mission, so uh, we're, we're going to need them. I'm sorry. Zarhawk would like to slam down his ten shinies that he has on the table very loudly and request a potion. <laughs> I'm just going to come up behind him, kind of tap him on Brother, that's... it's not enough. But the shinies... 
Yes, you would need more. Just put it away for now. Okay. So he hands you the six potions. Anything else that I can help you with? No, that'll be all. Thank you, my good man. Why did it not add them? Oh, it did them separately? That uh, isn't there. The way the inventory works now is you just put one in and then you count, uh, you like add Yeah, more I know. It. it just, it didn't do it. It okay. made a whole nother spot for some stupid reason. Uh, there we go. That's why I was like, what the hell? All right. And now I'm going to walk out, walk past everyone. Well, I'm good. I, uh, I will admit I am surprised you have as much gold I have. I mean, that was the majority of it, but, you know, the perks of being from a wealthy hey. family. They send you away with money. Thank you, kind bear. You're welcome. Keovic. Yes. I am curious. Your brother is named Bearfist. I was mm. under the perception that he punched a bear. Oh, this is true. Wrestled with a bear, to be exact. He is not apt to do this again. Is... Do you want me to wrestle a bear, Chief? No, please do not. Do not wrestle our potion master. I am. I am. Oh, he is a kind bear. Yes, he is, and I believe uh, that he is the only one in town who is capable of. Stillian, roll me a perception check, real quick. <clears throat> perception. That's a nat twenty. I wow. say we, okay, we have passive um, perception, but we'll go with okay. that. <laughs> let me hold on. Yeah, let me. Uh, oof. I mean, the path to figure out what I gotta tell you. You're gonna notice a lot whatever I've got to say notice. now. Yeah. Uh, he has so it. <laughs> perceived it on yesterday the... and today. <laughs> uh, on the table to your right, um, uh, there is a well. Firstly, the person that is manning this tent uh, is a goblin. Um, they are trying to disguise themselves they they have like a, a plague doctor's mask on but the green ears sticking out are in you know uh, a dead giveaway so you know that it is a goblin um he has a few potions that are sitting on the table one kind of catches your eye it is a uh crystal bottle that has bones wrapped around it and is lashed together with uh some leather cord uh, the vendor that is behind you is a short gnome with an extremely long beard, a very odd uh, hat. Uh, and on his table are several strange artifacts, just uh, a stone, uh, some sticks, as well as a few mushrooms. And then one mushroom in particular catches your eye. It almost looks as if this mushroom has a face that's very angry. Uh, another thing that you uh, are close to that you would perceive uh, is that there is a fish vendor that is in front of you, and there's a little sign that's above it that says Fisses Fish. <laughs> so I'm going to stop them for a minute. Hold, hold up, guys. Hold up. I'm going to walk over and be like, uh, look to the goblin and be like, hi, uh, interested in knowing what this potion is. Oh, you want to know about potion? Very yes. well. Uh, oh, well, it is the potion of animal resurrection. Oh? Yes. It, any animal that you have consumed within the last hour, you drink it, and it brings it back to life uh, right next to you. Uh, uh, does it Does it remember you consumed it? Yes. Oh, that's Question, weird. does it require consumption? The potion? The animal. Yes. You have to eat the animal, and then the potion brings the animal back? Yes. Curious. Interesting. Uh, it I, also I cures poison. How much? That seems like a side effect. Uh, 350 gold pieces. 
Oh, that is outside of my range. Uh, what about oh. this uh, mushroom here? Looks like it's got a face on it. Oh, well, that's in the stall next door, behind you. Oh, there's a different stall? I thought I was uh, right. Yes, so, uh, sorry, I was describing three different uh, stalls. Oh, um, you didn't say that. This one right here, behind you, uh, is the one with the mushrooms. I'm actually wanting to question this egg here, too. Or is that an egg? Uh, the goblin very quickly jumps up on the table and guards the egg and says, You can't just this one. Uh, what? You can't just... Go! Move along! Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. I imagine he does not quite understand that things on stalls you... Maybe that was his child. Who knows? So yeah, I walk up to this one, goblin and I, uh... Right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> uh, so like my character you. chuckles. My character chuckles as he hears him say that. <laughs> yeah, walks up, laughs a bit, and then he's like, so, uh, what's the, what's the story with this mushroom? Whoa! That's a very good mushroom! Okay. What, what 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 is it? It's a mushroom. What is what kind? You don't understand what mushrooms are, do you? Well, I understand what that there are different species and subspecies of mushroom. I'm asking you which one this is. Don't be silly. All mushrooms are mushrooms. Uh huh. So how much you do you want buy for the something? Mushroom? How much do you want for the mushroom? Everything on my table is one silver piece. One silver piece. All right. Well, I'll take this mushroom from you for one is silver. Is that a lot? Um. Give me. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh God. Dexterity saving throw. I love that you question. Uh, yeah, yourself. I don't appreciate the fact that he questions his own call on that. <laughs> <laughs> 21 is it con? Uh, 21 so despite the wriggling and fighting of this mushroom to go into your backpack you manage to shove it into your backpack get in there you little shit oh god <laughs> hey hey it's part of the character man <laughs> I, uh, uh, that was one what? silver piece I have three other mushrooms and I also have this stick it is a wand! A wand of teleportation! It will take you anywhere! Oh, and that's also a silver piece? One silver piece! I'm taking that wand. Thank you for shopping at Magoo's Mushrooms! Oh, sweet Jesus, no. <laughs> that was not out loud. That was, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Any more oh, mushrooms? Uh, sh what, what are the... Uh, yeah. I is a silver piece a lot? Not. I have ten shinies. I can buy a mushroom. Of course. I don't yeah. know if I have three it. mushrooms, and he holds out mushrooms, and one of them uh, is actually like purple and glowing, and kind of has like a magical aura that's like swirling I around will it. Take that magical mushroom. Okay, you take it. Another silver piece. All right, so that's in his hand. He also lot. has. Uh, he also has a mushroom that you kind of can almost see through. Uh, it's semi-transparent. I assume that's the one Derek's buying, then, since I bought the other two mushrooms. Zar Zarhak has no idea I'm gonna, what's going on. He just has If he's holding out his money, I'm going to pull out one of them and hold it up to front in front of him. This could buy you ten things. Whoa, one shiny buys ten mushrooms? From this merchant, apparently. Oh, yes, but he does, not have, he does not have 10 mushrooms. He has one, two left, I think. Two, two left. The other one is oh. looks like a tiny. It has a little door on it and a couple of little windows and a chimney that comes out of the top of it. My character is so enthralled by these mushrooms that he's buying all of them. <laughs> OK, uh, so you, you now you've bought all the mushrooms. Uh, Magoo says, well, it looks like it's sold out. Hmm, what to do now? What to do now? And he touches his nose with his finger, and he 
teleports away. Okay, so what all did I just acquire from this dude so I can add it to my backpack here? Uh, you can just put four mushrooms, and I'll tell you. Uh, we'll kind of go through it later. Okay, and then the other, the wand I got? Uh, you can just call it stick. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> you would. So, uh, Zarhawk's still standing there holding one gold coin, looking very confused. I'm just... put it I back with the rest. Item. Did it add? Last... But, it's our brother. But I, I can buy a mushroom right. from the elf now? If he's willing to sell. Would Zarhawk like the mushroom buy now. fish? Uh, I can hunt fish. I don't need to buy food. I'm gonna look at Kevin. Does he know that you don't Hold hunt on. fish? Catch, right? Yeah. 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 It's it's he. It's what he means. He's just okay. All one word. Just it's just making sure that I'm not going to watch him run into a river with a bag. Although. We have spearfish before. Okay. So he walks away yes, going, I don't know what just happened, but I had to have those mushrooms. I am sorry. No, no. Uh, apparently, according to your file, you are a Druidic uh, type. So I imagine things like mushrooms would be interesting. I am a Druid. Yes. Now, where are we going exactly? We're going to the cave. Which is... As far as I'm aware, behind the mess hall, we'll go through. Do you guys the mess want hall. to take a short rest or anything like that, or go straight sure. there? We will sit take... down here by the fountain. You're going by the fountain? I would have. That's what Sarhawk's doing. Okay, then we go by the fountain. So yeah, I guess we're going to take a short rest here. Okay. Which works because I need to use the restroom. So while y'all talk. Okay. Um, so, yeah, while, uh, while you guys sit and, uh, take a break, um, you just kind of are observing your surroundings, um, and there are a few, quite a few merchants here. Um, there is a vegetable merchant, uh, there's the other vegetable merchant, uh, there's an alcohol, uh, vendor here, um, it looks like there's uh, another person that has some other foods like pastries and stuff. Uh, there looks like someone selling artwork, uh, as well as someone that has uh, some scrolls and stuff like that. Uh, there's a weapons trader here as well. Uh, and then, of course, the fish merchant, uh, Knob Dob the Magical, and then what once was Magoo's Mushrooms. <laughs> Which has now been sold out and is no longer open. I have bought his mushrooms and his stick. For now. It's open for now. Or it's closed for now. I'm sure he'll be back. More mushroom. Other oddities. In the, the time of the short rest, Zarhawk mm -hmm. is going to be trying to understand how money works by asking his brother. That's what they will be talking about. It's an exchange of items and services. It has value because the tribe gives it value. Why do they not simply just trade? Why must you use the shinies? I, I don't know. The shinies are a, a, a reaction for trade. So they hold value temporarily. A I am finding it plain that they are a form of raid that is, I want to say, aid. You know, all, I mean, all pieces of metal are worth things. Generally, yes, but they are worth different based on the metal itself. Ah. Oh. 
Like how bear pelt is better than rabbit pelt. Yes, the same way copper is worse than silver and then gold. Most expensive. So gold is bear pelt. Wolf is silver pelt. To some degree, yes. They're just smaller and easier to handle. Oh. I guess I don't have as much as I thought, Brooke. I only have ten bear pelts. Yes. It's a fine amount for now. We will be acquiring and divvying out a much larger sum. Although, technically, as I stare at Cillian, uh, less than what our, uh, our transfer has. I don't have as much now. I'm also back, sorry. Now? <clears throat> but you did had quite a bit. On well, top yes. of it, you also seem probably have access to more? Not to know. I mean, within reason. I could probably contact my family for more if I wanted, but I'd rather not. The luxury that some of us have and some of us... Elves are strange. Do we have well, our... I look uh, at him and say Eladrin. You... You are not elf? I am an Eladrin. I am a species of elf. What? You are a Goliath, but you're not a giant. Well, no, I am a giant, but not of giant kin. They are kind of relation to us, but he, no. He is the same as Eldrin. He is not quite an elf. We have the same lifespan, but Eldrins have are a bit different. Wait, you live just as long as the other elves? Yes, I'm currently 109 years old. What? Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling he not, he's not sure how many that is. If we are done here, I would like to press on with the mission before it gets too late. How do you yeah. live so long? During your rest period, uh, after reflecting on your battle with the Rudderkin, you will advance to level two. Oh. oh. Well, let me just do that real quick. It's a quick level two. What I told you about, Gus, is fine. Yes. Yeah. And yes, I was correcting him. Got him <laughs> sorry. Yes, Finn. <laughs> I go by many names. <laughs> um. Give me a second, because I actually have a bit to do with this. <laughs> I'm just double checking something before I make a final decision. Yeah, okay. Damn spells. Yeah, yo. Yeah. I cannot do it until I do a long rest. It is up to you. The um, You can take a long rest. There's not exactly, the city did not place a time limit on this, uh, but the sooner you get it done, the sooner you get paid. I think that's the big thing here. I mean, due to not having a time limit, I suppose it being later, I mean, how long did what time is the day is it the morning? uh it was about um maybe uh two or three or so a little bit after uh lunchtime a little bit afternoon uh when you guys were waiting um so now i would say 
it's probably getting close to dark. Not quite yet, but it's getting close to dark. Well, it has been a bit of a day. Uh, and it wouldn't be a bad idea if we hire and go to the barracks. That way we can take some time to uh, rest after our fight and prepare for the battle at head. So... I hope... Uh, <clears throat> I, I would hope that Zarhawk would be okay with waiting night before we go in the morning. Rest is important. Hunting is always best in the morning. Oh, then. Uh, Penance, you and the uh, brothers have been staying for the last month in the Blue Flagon, uh, where Sergeant Locke has reserved uh, some space for you. Uh, as being Jaegers, although you are allowed to the guard mess hall um, and a few of the other guard facilities, you are not necessarily guards yourself and so do not have the same amenities that they do. Um, the city is nice enough to be paying for your stay in the Blue Flagon currently. Okay, which which building was that? Because I see given that would be... Uh, the Blue Flagon is to the southeast of you. Okay, I will, so the, uh, the mark tavern. It for you. Tavern on the map. Correct, the tavern, yes. Well, then we shall retire for the night at the tavern. Uh, in the morning, we will travel to the mess hall in where we will hunt the Drugar. I am. Sounds good to me. I am unfamiliar with fighting or so. Do our best. Learn along the way. Thank you.